Hello children. How many of you have seen Taj Mahal? What is its color? Of which stone is it made of? It is white in color. It is made up of marble. Good. How many of you have seen Red Fort? Today we will learn about different types of rocks and minerals. The earth's crust is made up of rocks and soil. These rocks are made up of small particles of minerals. Naturally occurring compounds in the earth's crust are called minerals. Rocks may contain one or more minerals. The type of rock depends on the quantity and quality of the minerals present in it. They differ from each other in their origin, color, texture, etc. Do you know the scientist who studies about the earth is known as geologist? Flowing water, strong winds and changes in the weather break rocks into smaller and smaller pieces which ultimately become soil on which life is dependent. According to their formation, rocks are divided into three major classes. The temperature inside the earth is very high. As a result, the rocks melt. This molten part of rock is known as magma. When it reaches the surface of the earth by volcanic eruptions, it is called lava. Volcanic igneous rocks are formed from lava, which comes out of deep inside the earth through volcanoes. Cooling is slow in the crust of the earth near the surface. On fast cooling, it forms three types of rocks, pumice, obsidian and basalt, whereas on slow cooling, it forms granite. Do you know? There are more than 500 active volcanoes in the world. It is a type of grey stone formed due to the solidification of the lava that comes out of the volcano. It is soft, porous and lightweight rock which contains trapped air bubbles. It is used to make stone utensils. It is used as a scrubber to remove rough skin from the body. Dentists use powdered pumice for polishing teeth. It is also used to polish floors. It is a dark and shiny rock that looks like glass. It has sharp edges. It is used for making tools. It is black or dark brown and finely grained rock. Goldsmiths use basalt to test the purity of gold. It is the most common hard rock containing three main minerals, mica, quartz and feldspar. It is a colored rock. It has coarse grains. Polished granite is used for flooring. It is also used for making statues. The earth's surface is constantly being eroded. Wind, running water and ice can break down rocks into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces of rocks turn into pebbles, gravels, sand and clay. They tumble down rivers and streams and reach the lakes or oceans. There, they pile up to form a layer at the bottom. This layer is known as sediment. As more and more sediments settle on the top, the lower sediments get squeezed. Later on, sediments get glued together by minerals dissolved in water to form a type of rock called sedimentary rock. It may take millions of years to form a layer of sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are of five types. It is mainly made up of calcite calcium carbonate mineral. It is also formed from sea shells, corals and bones of animals. It is used to make bricks and glass. It is also used to make quick lime, chalk and cement. It is formed when the sand is deposited or binded with some minerals. It mostly contains sand grains. It is found in brown, pink or red colors. It is mainly used to make buildings. The red port of Delhi is made up of red sandstone. It is a type of soft stone that splits easily into thin flat layers. It is made up of clay and mud deposited as silt in river beds or at the mouth of the rivers. Shale is grey in colour. It is used to make tiles and bricks. It is also mixed with limestone to make cement. It is a sedimentary rock consisting of rounded pieces of gravels stones and pebbles binded together by cementing material to form an uneven rock. It can be used for jewelry and decoration. It is also used as millstone, grinding stone for grinding corn and other cereals. 
It is like limestone but contains magnesium too. It is used as an ornamental stone. It is also used as a rich source of magnesium. Metamorphic rocks are formed when sedimentary or igneous rocks undergo changes due to heat or pressure. The word metamorphic means change of form. Due to extreme heat and pressure under the earth's surface, limestone changes into marble. It is a hard rock which can be carved and polished. It is a costly building material. It is generally white in color, but due to the presence of some impurities, it is also found in other colors. It is used for flooring and making utensils and statues. The Taj Mahal at Agra is made up of white marble. Shale changes to form slate. It is a dark gray colored stone that splits easily into thin flat layers. It is used as tiles for roofing, flooring and also used for making blackboards and slates. Quartz is formed when sandstone, a sedimentary rock, undergoes changes due to environmental variations. It is used to make statues. It is a metamorphic form of granite. It has streaks of light and dark bands. Polished knives can be used to make tiles for flooring. It is a shiny transparent material found in thin flat layers. As it is resistant to heat and electricity, it is used in many appliances where heat and electricity are involved. It is also used in spaceships. The fuel obtained from dead remains of animals and plants which were buried millions of years ago under the earth's crust or ocean bed is called fossil fuel. For example, petroleum, coal and natural gas. Do you know? Diamond and graphite are made up of pure carbon. Diamond is the hardest natural substance known. Coal is a fossil fuel. It is formed from the remains of dead plants and animals that were buried in the earth millions of years ago. Due to the heat of the interior of the earth and the pressure above, these got converted into coal. It is a hard black mineral. It is rich in carbon and is used as fuel. There are four types of coal, peat, lignite, bituminous and anthracite. Anthracite is the best quality coal. Coal is used for cooking, for producing electricity in power plants, factories, furnaces and in the extraction of metals. It is also a fossil fuel like coal. Half of the energy used on the earth comes from petrol. It is also formed by the remains of dead plants and animals, which were covered by sand and clay under the ocean bed millions of years ago. Wells are dug deep under the ground in the seas to get petroleum. Many fuels like petrol, kerosene, fuel oil, diesel, LPG, etc. can be extracted from petroleum. Paraffin wax and asphalt are also extracted from petroleum. Paraffin wax is used to make candles and asphalt is used to make tar roads. Since many useful products are derived from petroleum, it is also known as liquid gold. All rocks are made up of minerals. Some minerals have rich quantity of metallic and non-metallic substances which can be extracted profitably. Such minerals are known as ores. All ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores. Only those minerals from which metal is profitably extracted are ores. Some examples of minerals and metals obtained from them are Name of the mineral or ore Metal obtained Hematite Iron Bauxite, aluminium, cinnabar, mercury, zinc blend, zinc, pyrite, copper. Amazing fact! Platinum is so rare that 2 million pounds of ore may contain only 1 pound of metal. All ores are minerals, but all minerals are not ores. Only those minerals from which metal is profitably extracted are ores. Do you know? Some minerals are also used as gems. The surface of the gem is cut in different planes to increase its luster, shine. Gems are of different colors. Yellow gem, opal and ember. Green gem, emerald. Blue gem, sapphire. Red gem, ruby. Colorless gem, diamond. Let us summarize. Naturally occurring substances in the earth's crust are known as minerals. 
Rocks are classified into three types, igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. Magma, on cooling, forms a type of rocks which are known as igneous rocks. Granite, basalt, pumice, and obsidian are types of igneous rocks. Sedimentary rocks are formed by the sedimentation of broken rock materials by wind, ice, or water. Metamorphic rocks are formed by the changes that take place in the sedimentary or igneous rocks due to extreme heat and pressure. Coal and petroleum are examples of fossil fuels. Almost all stones are useful to mankind in some way or other. Some minerals are so precious that we use them as gems.